Today's topic is traveler's diarrhea. Traveler's diarrhea is a digestive tract disorder that is caused by eating food and water contaminated by feces. This condition can happen any time during a trip or even after the person gets home. The risk of getting the condition is higher when traveling to places where hygiene and sanitation standards are poor. The high-risk destination for traveler's diarrhea includes many areas of Africa, the Middle East, Mexico, Asia, except Japan, and Central and South America. The condition is not always serious, however it can be unpleasant. Because vital fluids, salts, and minerals are lost during an episode of the condition, a sufferer may become dehydrated. In this case, the condition may become life-threatening. Dehydration is very dangerous, especially for children, older adults, and people with a weakened immune system. Dehydration caused by diarrhea can cause serious organ damage, shock, and even coma. It is believed that natives of high-risk countries are not affected, in the same way, because their bodies have become accustomed to causative agents and have built resistant to it. Causes The primary cause of traveler's diarrhea is infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites that enter the body after ingesting food and water contaminated by feces. These infectious agents enter the digestive tracts and overpower the defense mechanism, causing symptoms associated with the condition. The most common causative agent is enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli, or ETEC, bacteria. These bacteria bind to the intestinal wall and release a toxin that causes diarrhea. Other common bacterial pathogens that may cause the condition include Salmonella species and Shigella species. Certain protozoans, such as Giardia lamblia, Cryptosporidium, can also cause diarrhea. Studies have suggested that virus particularly norovirus and rotavirus, may be associated with traveler's diarrhea. Viruses are associated with less than 20% of all adult cases. In children and infants, they are responsible for about 70% of cases. A certain group of people who are at higher risk of getting the infections may include people with a weakened immune system, people with cirrhosis of the liver, diabetes or inflammatory bowel disease, young adults, people who take antacids or H2 blockers. Symptoms The most common symptoms of traveler's disease include an abrupt passage of unformed stool, three or more while traveling, an urgent need to defecate, nausea, fever, abdominal cramps, bloating, excessive gas, loss of appetite. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience the following symptoms. Severe, intolerable pain in the abdomen, bloody stools, symptoms of dehydration, fever higher than 102 degrees Fahrenheit, persistent vomiting for more than four hours. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a physical examination. The doctor will also order a stool test as well as check your blood for infections. It is important to inform your doctor about any recent travels. Treatment in most cases, the condition is not serious, and it might resolve on its own in a few days. However, if your condition does not improve, the doctor will prescribe certain medications depending on the cause of your condition. This may include antibiotics, bismuth subsalicylate to help reduce the frequency of stool and shorten the duration of the illness, anti-motility agents such as loperamide. To prevent the condition when visiting high-risk countries, Avoid unsterilized water, such as drinks with ice cubes made from local water, mixed fruit juices with tap water, brushing of teeth and rinsing the mouth with local water. Try to drink bottled water or boil waters for at least three minutes before drinking them. Avoid eating food from street vendors. Avoid swimming in contaminated water. Avoid eating fruits and raw vegetables unless cleaned and peeled personally. Stay well hydrated. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.